Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is How to Design Like an Architect. I thought the best way to talk about design would be to create a dream home for someone. But first, let's talk about the design process. An architect, like any design professional, draws on a wellspring of information. How we design is based, to some extent, on what we know. What we know can be based on the school we went to, the books we've read, the magazines we like to look at, where we grew up, our friends and relatives, the occupations we've worked at, and, in general, our life experiences. A professor named Edmund Bacon, actually the father of the actor Kevin Bacon, told me something once that I will never forget. He said, it's in the doing that the idea comes. That is, we must sit and work through something before we can find the best way to solve a problem. Solving a design problem is essentially taking what we know and putting it together with that particular challenge. When an architect sits down to problem solve, they frequently sketch. Sketching is one of the best ways to work out the solution to a problem, and I believe that's exactly what Edmund Bacon meant when he said, it's in the doing that the idea comes. Before we design our dream home, I need to give you a little insight into one of my favorite architects. Le Corbusier was a Swiss-born architect, writer, and painter. He was well known as a modern architect and for his theories and approach to architecture. I'll save his story for another episode, but would like to reference one of his most well-known buildings. The Unité de Habitation in Marseille, France is a very modern looking, long, narrow apartment building that incorporates a number of Corbusier's design principles. The building is set on a series of large concrete pilotes, or pillars. It also incorporates a roof garden and sculpture. It was Corbusier and his team's intention to create more suitable living accommodations for people who lived in congested cities. They did this by stacking narrow, two-story apartments rather than spreading them out over the landscape and providing the residents with a place of recreation on the roof. So, keep those things in mind as we look to design our dream home. This is Kelly. Kelly's dream home is a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean in California. She loves modern architecture. Now, for purposes of time constraint, I'm only going to design a small portion of the house, and I'm going to do it quickly. So, it goes without saying that any architect worth their salt should be using a lot more information and spend a lot more time problem solving than I'm sharing with you here. Now, I assume the site was narrow because of the scarcity of buildable land in, say, Laguna Beach, California. In that case, I decided the home would be long and narrow, but tall. Every area has zoning ordinances, so that would probably affect the height of this building, but I'm going to ignore them for this exercise. The house will be essentially a four-story window that points directly at the ocean view. Kelly wants to be a counselor, so we know there should be some kind of space dedicated to having discussions and being inspired. A cantilever deck is perfect for this, as is the four-story view of the ocean. Now, an architect gets all kinds of useful information when interviewing a client for a job. Kelly's favorite building material is stainless steel, so I decided to clad the whole house with it. Kelly also told me that she had been born on an Indian reservation, so I added this conical shape to the roof. It's a reference to the traditional American Indian teepee. And there you have it. I put what I know together with the challenge of creating a dream home. Some of what I referenced was work by Le Corbusier. What we've ended up with is a four-story building set on pilotes, a home with a roof garden and roof sculpture that doubles as an observation deck, and finally, a long narrow building with stacked living accommodations and a breathtaking view. All put together, a dream home for Kelly. So, remember, there's no one formula for design, and this has simply been one way to get to a quick solution. Thanks for checking out How to Design Like an Architect. I'm Doug Patton. 
If you want me to design your dream home, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then, send me a message in the Connect With section. If I get enough interest, maybe I'll pick you and design your dream home in an upcoming episode.